Hello everyone and welcome back. This is a real quick video on how to install the hammer and trigger pins on the ATI Omni Hybrid Lower. This is a plastic lower with some metal reinforcements here and in the front as well. Um, this is a replacement off of one of the original ones that I got a few years ago. And both of the lowers I owned before, their original ones, uh, they both broke right about here. And I guess that's why they reinforced this area back in here. Uh, but anyways, they sent me this replacement. This is the second replacement. The first one was maybe two years ago when they sent that to me. And I just, I can't remember if it had, because I subsequently sold it. I, did, I can't remember if it had these little um, extensions air here. So the, basically this lower is beefed up on the sides as well can, from my original one. I'll throw some pictures in in my original one here. You can see it looks like the normal lower. But... So when I got this lower and started to build it back up, I went to put my hammer and trigger pins in, your typical hammer and trigger pins, and they're just too short. They, will, they measure about 0.9 inches, but when you measure the thickness of the lower itself, it's coming in at about 1.12 inches. So it's considerably uh, thicker. And these pins, are, the stock pins that you use are just too short to go all the way through. Here's the example. So my pins are perfectly and they're perfectly centered within the lower itself and they just don't go all the way through. I mean they're barely catching if you will in the plastic. Well they're probably catching more than barely but they're not going all the way through like you would think they are. And I went back and forth with Omni over the over some emails trying to figure out you know hey send me some pins because MagTech, MagTech Tactical I believe it is, they make a magnesium lower they did the similar thing where they made the lower actually wider, and but they shipped their lowers with extra long hammer and trigger pins. So you have to use those pins because they would pass all the way through, unlike this. But they finally, after figuring this out over emails, what they do is they send you a tiny little set screw that you screw into those little holes and it keeps your pin, your pin from wiggling in and out. So here's one right here. So we're talking, I'm put it on my we're talking just a tiny, tiny bit of a screw. So what you do is you just basically put it in like so, and it self-taps into the hole. And the reason I'm making this video is because I could not find any information on this whatsoever. So I figured I'd shoot shoot one together real quick and put it out there for anybody else trying to figure this this out but this is what it's going to look like once you get it in there there's the other side I've already put them in there and if you're curious this is a bull moose tactical flat trigger with a, with one of their speed hammers and my lightweight hammer and trigger pin so anyways that is how to how to install those doggone hammer and trigger pins hopefully this will help someone out speed up their process of putting this together because this is taking me forever to figure out. Um, anyways, as usual, thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video.